good morning students today uh, as we have already completed uh, chapter number 7 the notes and all the exercises uh, i will be providing you with your another video where other exercises of in the blanks and other details would be given to you of chapter number 7 so today we are going to start up with our new chapter that is chapter number 8 of social studies which is regarding to special category of people now before starting i would like to suggest to an activity that you can do and see how it feels or how you or what is the experience that you have now take a book or a copy or a notebook anything close your eyes and try to put hand on the book and feel and read what you are feeling take a book close your eyes and try to feel what you can read without seeing is it able when you feel your book are you able to read it or not now this chapter deals with this kind of details or this topic that we are going to or that i explained you now that in according to your activity now it is very much understood and obvious that if you close your eyes without seeing your book you cannot read anything or you cannot feel anything the reason is that because we don't be we have a capability of doing things or we have our own capacity of doing things but we need eyes to see them before doing any kind of things or before doing any kind of activity in and around us we need eyes or vision to see what we are doing or what we are reading so without seeing we cannot read feel or it, we cannot understand as to what is going on around us so in this chapter we are going to learn about those special category of people those special kind of people who have this who face this situation and what are the important things done by them now we have people like us we who are healthy who are at least able to see what is things going around us our mind is healthy our physical uh, situation or physical um, understanding is healthy but there are certain category of people who are called as special people now who are these special people these special people are those people who are not healthy who does not have healthy body and mind who cannot hear who cannot speak who cannot walk properly due to some physical problems that they have and because of that only they are regarded as special people now there is an incident where a person goes to a school when he visits a particular when he visit this school he sees students who are visually challenged visually challenged in the sense who do not have eyesight who cannot see he goes there and he takes with himself various things to distribute to these children biscuits gifts clothes books and all important things to the students giving them they see few of the students walking around here and there few of them sitting and doing activities few students who are walking with the help of sticks doing different kind of activities some are reading some are talking to each other some are discussing few important things and few other people uh, children who are using sticks to move from one place to another now this person who visit this school gets surprised by seeing how some of the important students are even able to sit and read books or study books how is it possible now it is said that there are certain special category of books or special category of writings that are been found 
those who those who can read and write which are known as braille script and what are these braille scripts braille scripts are special books they have special languages or special kind of writings in them and by touching those writings or feeling those writings what they do is that they are able to understand letters understanding those letters they are able to read it and understand it they are able to get informations through that skills now these are kind of special kind of studies that are been done which also requires a special training a uh, special type of guidance given to these visually challenged people and there are certain schools and institutions that are organized which are most probably built for this category of people so when he visited there when this person visited the school he was surprised to see surprised to see that students are doing various kind of activities not only reading walking some of them are even making things like candles uh, artificial jewelry even some of them are stitching clothes so activities were been done and that only surprised by understanding that if these students are not able to see how they are able to do different kind of activities how it is possible that they are able to read they are able to make make different kind of things they are able to walking and all is a special practice that most of the people they do so on this basis what happens that he I, he is able to understand as these are the people who are understandable who do different kind of work or who have undergone a special kind of training and studies of this category and then they are able to do things so what i mean to say is that there are students or people who are visually challenged visually challenged means people those who are not able to see to make their life more meaningful so that they are they are able to understand the life they do not get disappointed discouraged that they are having this kind of problems there are various institutions and schools been established either by private institutions or by government to see that this category of students are been taken care in which they are given special trainings they are given uh, special understandings guidance so that they are able to read and write and do special other kind of activities that other normal people do it can be very much understood also that it might be that they are not able to do to that perfection as the visually people visual people they do but still they are able to come up with some percentage of those kind of activities that can give them a hope a meaning to their life so special people are categorized as those people who are having physical problem mental problem health problem some of them are not able to walk because of leg uh, problem physically they are have they, they have problem from childhood or from the late, later part of their life some of them don't have hand some are some are unable to see some even are unable to speak but it does not mean that they should lose their hope of living they should lose their hope of understanding the world and living they should leave the hope of living only certain people they take those visual problems or physical problems as a challenge and they bring about necessary development and changes into their lives through training education help of other people who are there in and around us and understand the society and get a new meaning or a new, get a new face into their life system the next is about <coughs> excuse me the old age homes Now what is this old age homes old age homes are a special category of homes which are most probably built for whom 
these are homes where people who cannot care for themselves live in old age homes now right? most probably it happens that some of the time when people they become old they are unable to take care of themselves they don't have in an uh, around anyone who could take care of them and help them in their day to day activities so for those category of people what has happened is that there are certain special homes been created that is known as old age homes where these old peoples or some distressed people they start living there along with other same category of people around them and they do their day to day activities they live in organized way and they have someone to take care and even the other old age homes who have various other people around them of the of the same category same age same genders male and females those who take care of each other and then they together they live harmoniously and peacefully now it is also very sad to see in certain times that some of the uh, some of the some of the children what they do is that they neglect their parents and in the neglection what they do is that they even don't care about when their parents get old and they uh, they get busy into their day to day life thinking about themselves forget about what their parents when they were young or when they were small till what they have become now how much sufferings how much care and protection they had given for them forgetting all those things what they do is that they start thinking about themselves and certain times they don't care for their parents and they purposely put their parents into their old age home which is a wrong practice it should not be done we should always understand the emotions of our parents how and in what way they have sacrificed their life have done lot of hard work to bring you up to so that to see that you become someone great in the life you achieve a goal understanding and thinking that when they will become old you will be a support a lifeline for them so that they could live a peaceful life and at the end they could die peacefully with a, with this hope only they do hard work they uh, put their most of their efforts of their life when you come into their world or when you come into their life giving you more important in the same way when they become old we should also take care of our parents instead of giving them to the old old age homes keep keeping them with you and taking care of them and we should be responsible for what they have done or their responsibility that they had done when we were small later on when their age comes when they are not able to do various activities due to their physical health being old we should take care of them so old age are not considered or not made with a scope of this category of people they are made most probably for those distressed or disparted people who do not have families who do not have any anyone near and dear to them who can take care of them they are given shelter to these places now it is said that there is a special day that is celebrated as the old age day which is the 1st of october now there are in such a way there are various different category of people in and around us who have who are specially challenged and having different kind of physical problems we should be very helpful and very dear and near to them to help them so we will understand till this today and we'll go through this chapter more and more understanding it in our next class so have a good day be healthy and keep your studies intact and do not let your uh, day to day studies get affected so that you prepare well for various different activities and learn things being from this small as we know that 
as the time is going on this visual classes are only helpful for you to understand various different things which is very important for students to understand it so this is all for today thank you very much